I checked out Brizzy, which is a beginner friendly page builder, which you can use with WordPress or on their own cloud platform. And I built this simple, fully responsive landing page very easily and very quickly. It was an interesting experience, definitely different than what I'm used to. There was a good amount of actually really cool surprises and features I did not expect and some little annoyances I didn't expect either. So let's take a look at what Brizzy can do for you and if it's a right fit for what you need. Before diving in, I want to disclose that Brizzy did sponsor this video, so I want to thank them for doing that and for making this whole thing happen. I did everything in my power to approach this as an absolute beginner, meaning I actually did nothing. I never used Brizzy before and I looked at zero tutorials before or during the actual page building. What you're seeing on the screen is my first ever attempt at using Brizzy. I built this on their cloud platform, so getting started was really easy. Now, it did take me a couple of hours, between 3 and 5, and a part of that was because I was designing as I went, with zero plan or preparation. And a part of it was because I didn't want to look at anything helpful, such as a tutorial or a blog post. So yeah, I was discovering things as I went. Before we get into the more advanced features, let's go over my experience building out the page and what I liked and what I didn't like. Now in Brizzy, you can easily add in all of your own blocks. A block is basically their version of a container. You can think of it as literally a building block and you can add in your elements within that as well, meaning you can get started from zero. But my thought process was, if you're using a tool like Brizzy, you are probably interested in getting the best result possible with the least amount of effort. It has to be simple. So I went with a pre-made template that I then fully customized and replaced the content of. At first, I was confused. I'm not gonna lie, but that's mostly because I'm used to WordPress and it's tough to go from one platform to another. You're looking for things that simply are not where you're used to finding them. I actually think a beginner would find it a little bit easier to adapt at first, which is perfect, that's the point. But once I got used to it, in the first hour or so, it became really easy. What's also really easy is hitting those like and subscribe buttons, so please make sure you do that if you find this video helpful it would help me out a whole lot. The interface is pretty straightforward, although I wish some things were a little bit clearer. I'll get into that in a second. Building out blocks and adding in elements just made sense. It's also very easy to reorder blocks and restructure your page. Resizing the blocks and columns by dragging them and making everything responsive was a breeze. And yes, I take full responsibility for that pun, for better or for worse. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely still a learning curve but it's far from difficult. As I kept building, I kept discovering little cool features. One thing I really liked was that you could just set the padding by dragging it, which makes it really easy to visually see what you're doing without kinda guessing how large the padding should be and trying different values. It just works. Another feature that I'm glad they included are global settings. I was not expecting something so beginner oriented to have global settings. What they are is you can set global fonts and colors that you can easily just use and change all throughout your website. Once you change them, they change on any element where they are applied. Pretty cool stuff. Also pretty cool is that they allow you to add classes to elements and add in custom CSS. Because Brizzy caters to an audience that wants to avoid code, you're likely not going to be using this much, but it is nice that it's there. And working with images impressed me as well. First, it took me a while to even learn how to change the images, but once I did, I realized that if you have an element with an image in the background, you can reposition that image by just clicking on it. Repositioning images for different devices and making them responsive does not get much easier than that. Speaking of responsiveness, I found it very cool how I could adjust the colors of some individual elements for different devices. For my menu, I used a purple color for the mobile hamburger menu and black for the tablet. I just wish it worked for more elements because it doesn't work for text and that is where it would really come in handy. It does work for background colors though, which is awesome. When it comes to menus, creating a mega menu is super easy. If you don't know, a mega menu is a menu in which you can place anything. Images, text, icons, even whole products. So the way Brizzy does it is really impressive, considering mega menus in WordPress, for example, can be difficult to deal with. It was intuitive, just out of the box. I didn't have to do much to enable it. The same thing goes for adding in icons to individual menu links. What was also cool was when I changed an icon from percent to pixels, it gave me the equivalent value in pixels. So the size didn't change. 
I didn't have to guess and play with it to get it right. Brazy was just packed with little features like that that I just didn't expect. But I also found some things that were a little bit annoying. Using REM for fonts was basically impossible because there was no way to use decimal points meaning it wasn't possible to get the sizes right. At that point, it doesn't even make sense to include REM as an option. One big thing that really did bother me is the lack of a navigator. I think a navigator would make everything much, much easier to, well, navigate. All of the other interface quirks I can live with, but I found myself needing a navigator and having to work my way around not having one a lot. Because there isn't a navigator clicking certain elements if they were close to another element, proved to be very difficult, if not impossible in specific cases, which just meant I had to reorder them, click them and put them back, which is not a huge deal, but it is a necessary extra work. And if there by any chance is a navigator available, I definitely did not find it and it should be much easier to find, but there isn't, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And then there was just a large amount of tiny little things that slowed down the workflow ever so slightly, like having to click away, but not too far away, for your changes to apply. If you click outside of the element, they don't apply. And sometimes I just felt like I had to do a lot more clicking than I could do to get to certain options. A lot of these probably don't matter at all to Brizzy's target audience. The REM thing, for example. Designers and beginners who need a quick and simple website probably just don't care about that. So the only real complaints I have about the workflow is a missing navigator and too much clicking. Everything you're seeing here, everything I built was on their cloud platform. So you basically just log in, go to your cloud and create your project, which you can then publish. You need to connect your domain for that, but otherwise that's it. No hosting setup, no other platform needed. So that's really streamlined and fast to set up. The interesting thing is if you want to use it in WordPress, you can do that as well. I used a staging site to test it out and it's pretty much the same thing. The builder itself is the same. Some things are a bit different than the cloud because obviously it's WordPress, but otherwise it's the same general experience. It just means you need hosting and more time to get it set up, just like with any other WordPress website. Something to mention here is that you can actually use it for online stores you can use it with WooCommerce that is only in the pro version however now I haven't tested that out I don't know how well it works but from what I've seen if you just need a quick and easy solution for a couple of simple products Brizzy seems like a good option price wise both the cloud and the WordPress options are not the cheapest you can find but they're not the most expensive either. They're somewhere in the middle. But both do offer a free version, allowing you to test everything out before you make a decision, which is always a plus. There's a link down below that you can use to test Brizzy out for free. It is an affiliate link, so thank you very much if you decide to use it. Because my experience was focused on the basic builder, that was really what I wanted to explore the most. And because Brizzy does offer quite a few features, I didn't get a chance to test everything out fully. But what looked very promising to me in the cloud version was the ability to simply set up your website in multiple languages. It's just a matter of a few clicks. Very simple. Another really cool thing is the ability to duplicate a website instantly. And not just that, you can actually share your website and others can duplicate it and edit it and it acts kind of like a template. My website, the one I built, is going to be available down below in the description and you can copy and edit it and replace the content if you want to. Or you can just keep my picture in there. Brizzy also offers a white label option for those who want to use this for their clients while using their own branding. White labels are not something I'm personally very interested in in general, they just don't fit my style of work but if you do need it, it's an option. My general impression of Brizzy is that it's a tool that is built to be easy. And I think a big part of their target audience are individuals who need a website they have a decent amount of control over, but who don't wanna dive too deep into web development. And those building websites for clients that don't need really complex features or layouts. If you're a designer that needs a personal portfolio or you need a website for your business or an event and you need the building process to be as simple as possible, Brizzy is a good option. If you need to build simple websites for others or if you need to build websites fast, it's a good option as well. And on the plus side, if you're a beginner, using Brizzy will still allow you to get familiar with the basics of web development 
or even the basics of WordPress if you use their WordPress plugin. Still, the cloud version is going to be easier to work with for beginners because there's just less things you need to set up. It's just faster to get started. If you're used to other page builders, I don't think Brizzy is the answer to your troubles. You're probably going to be a little frustrated using it at first, but that's normal. Any transition from one page builder to another is full of things you're used to that you need to learn again. Some of Brizzy's features are definitely a little jam that make work easier and faster. But overall, if you're good in another page builder already, you're probably gonna find Brizzy too limiting and too basic to use. But if some page builders feel too limited to you or just too difficult to deal with, not intuitive enough, and some just feel too big and complex, you don't need or want everything they offer, Brizzy is a good option that's gonna meet you in the middle. If you want to get into WordPress development or advanced web development as a profession, I would not recommend it either. The ease of use is logically a limiting factor in what you can achieve, and you're better off jumping into something more complex, a trial by fire so to speak, and learning as you go. Even Elementor, to me, feels limiting at times, which is the reason I make CSS and JavaScript tutorials, and Brizzy is meant to be even simpler and easier to use than that. I recommend you try it out, however. Try out their free version with zero risk. There's an affiliate link in the description, so thank you very much if you decide to use it. But there's no better way to know if it's a right fit for you other than trying it out yourself. So check the description and try it out. Also zero risk, well, you're at risk of loving the video, is watching this video next, so go check it out. Also, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching.